In the second letter that's attributed to the Apostle Peter, in chapter 2, he writes some things that sound amazingly like today. Humanity really hasn't changed from the first century to the 21st century. In fact, the problems that he addresses seem like they're increasing in our culture, which kind of is something that shows intelligence really hasn't blossomed much past that first century, 2,000 years ago. He starts out this way in chapter 2. False prophets also arose among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring in destructive opinions. And there's a key phrase. We live in an age when people say, well, there is no absolute truth and absolute right or wrong, but they hold on tenaciously to their point of view. Well, you really can't do that if you maintain that there's no such thing as absolute truth. If something is worth investigating, it's really worth taking a look at all sides of that issue, examining everything, pro and con, taking a look at what other individuals have actually stated about it or believed about it, and actually really analyzing to see whether or not that's verifiable or not. Facts actually do exist, no matter what current culture would have you to believe. So what about these kind of destructive opinions? What else does he write? Down in verse 17, in describing these individuals, he says this. These are waterless springs and mist driven by a storm. For them, the deepest darkness has been reserved. For they speak bombastic nonsense. With licentious desires of the flesh, they entice people who have just escaped from those who live in error. They promise them freedom, but they themselves are slaves of corruption, for people are slaves to whatever masters them. For if after they've escaped the defilements of the world through the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and are again entangled in them and overpowered, the last state has become worse for them than the first. It had been better for them never to have known the way of righteousness than after knowing it to turn back from the holy commandment that was passed on to them. This happened to them according to the true proverb, the dog turns back to its own vomit and the sow is washed only to wallow again in the mire. It's a very harsh words. Now why does he describe it that way? These individuals that are bringing in destructive opinions. Many will follow their licentious ways, verse number two, and because of these teachers, the way of truth will be maligned. In their greed, they will exploit you with deceptive words. Their condemnation, pronounced against them long ago, has not been idle, and their destruction is not asleep. It seems like they get a pass for a while. Nobody questions. It's amazing the, the problematic areas of things that are falsely called science in our culture things that are actually touted as fact, even though they're nothing more than a hypothesis. That's tragic. It's tragic because those same individuals, if they can explain away any kind of absolute truth, then the sky's the limit. It's interesting, however, we've talked about this before, those that really are talking about, well, you really need to be tolerant. If you actually disagree with them, they are the most intolerant people on the face of the earth. Now, why is that the case? Well, again, here's the problem. They bring in destructive opinions. They speak bombastic nonsense. With licentious desires of the flesh, they entice people who have just escaped from those who live in error. They promise freedom, but they can't deliver it. They're slaves of their own making to an ideology that is inconsistent, irrational, illogical. We live in a problematic culture. May we pray that sooner or later people start opening their eyes to analyze all sides of an issue. I've often wondered because I was involved in on the debate team in college which I thoroughly enjoyed, but I wonder how that has changed. It doesn't really seem like you could even have that anymore because a diversity of views on any given topic is almost anathema in our culture. Interesting words from the Apostle Peter. Please stay safe. We'll talk again soon.